right, so what are we doing today? Right, so uh, I want to replace the um, fuel filter on a Renault Master Mark II. It lives here. And if you look there, there's a couple of switches and things. And when you take them out, you press the green things at the side there. Uh, and there's another one there. I think it's three. It's got a clip, you pull that back. That lives there. Uh, that's the actual, this is the actual housing, it's got yeah. a in and an out and a yeah, basically. electronic connector. Yeah, yeah so it all, all just pushes in and, and plumps up. That there is to push some more fuel back in. See if I, if I squeeze that, watch. Yep. So obviously you need to prime it back up. Prime it back up. It. Um, at the back of it, it's got like elongated bits and it slides in to these grooves here. Let me just, I need to get, obviously, whereabouts is it? Just here. Yeah, okay. Slides in, slides down. Uh, it's really stiff, I got it, so I leave it out underneath the, like that. Leave it out, it came out. There's a torque at the top, and that is T30. Torque's 30. Just undo that, I've already undone it. Yeah. You did drain a bit out, didn't you? Yeah. What I did, have a milk bottle so you see this bit here if you undo that just drains all the fuel oh, out drain valve okay uh, obviously it's disposed of it so. so you're still coming on a little bit now obviously if you open the top you're going right, to get so more out of it's quite a big bolt don't lose that and then it if you look it's got locating tabs now what you want, want to remember is where the bracket mounting is yeah All right. there's an arrow and that faces away from it and the electronics where you plug in face away from the bracket mounting so then you know when you put it back in the locating lug it's in the right place yeah okay. right so first time i've taken one of these apart i don't know what we're going to find Oh, right. Looks so, a bit dirty to me. Though. I think you could say that's fairly rank. And that's had years and years and years so, of diesel in it, so it's not surprising what's had them. When I look at the thing, and the only reason I've taken this apart is I want to make sure that I order the, the right one and I replace it. And that's the diesel going in. I don't know what colour it is. It's black. Look. Yeah, we won't really reuse that. We'll right, just so tip that away. Now I've seen on um, some sites. That so that's a man. That's a man fuel filter, and it's got a code on it. P P seven two six. Now this is for a Mark II Renault Master. Which year is this? This is two thousand three four. It's quite an old van. Yeah. So at least we know. I've taken this out because there are so many variants of this. So um, when I get one, I need to see what. And I, I know when we order it, I measure the height so we get the right one. But it obviously needed a bit of a clean. We've got it out, and that's the main thing. And now we'll order a new one in. So basically, quite easy to get out. Yeah, you need really torx, male torx to yeah. take it off. And this 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 is the unit is is a permanent unit. So when you when you reassemble it, you put a new filter, and we haven't got one at the moment. Yeah. This arrow should be facing away from the bracket at the back. In fact, this little bleed thing here yeah. should be there at the back, just so you know, so it's the right way. Okay. Right, and we will get one. Um, same with the air filter. Yeah, so we've got to replace the air filter as well. Um, obviously, it's really gone. It's four torques here. Just unscrew them. Take it out. It off. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah, it's just had no maintenance on it, really. Okay, yeah. thanks for watching. Right, so you've got the replacement filter, it's a cross line one from Euro Car Parts. There are two different ones, so make sure you get the right size one. And this is 120 from here to here, so this is why it looks the same. I uh, don't know how much that was, how much was it? About 10 or so. 10 quid, yeah. Right, As just... you can see, it's it's new, so it's not all black and old. So, we're just going to basically refit it. On your seal, but you, you get a new seal with it. Just make sure it's gonna sit in there, it's okay. Fine. Quite what 
that is for. It's a mystery. Now, the only thing about that is possibly fit in. Oh, it's there. Look, there's one on it already. Oh, right. Okay. All oh, right. So there's a little seal there on the top of the bolt. So that just, looks in quite good condition, to be honest. Yeah, we'll just change it anyway. Let's change it. Yeah. Not worth not doing it. Right, so uh, writing there, facing up, just push it in. Yeah, as simple as that really, it's nothing complicated about it. Just want to make sure there's no muck in here, which there isn't. I'm just going to... No, obviously it seals around there. Is that one? Don't know. Right, so got the got a new oil filter, new seal. And a top remember. Okay to lug there, push it in. Okay, that bit there. Should be where the bracket is. Just needs Got tightening up basically. T30. Yep. And we have got the bumper off the front of something like that, so you're going to get a work. This is for a Renault Master Mark II. Mark II. And I did buy a couple of bits here already. So the part number for this one is that one there, 503745148. Right, I'll tighten that up as far as it'll go, yeah. but talk. Just tighten it up as far as it'll go and it stops. Right, so there's a couple of bits here. So you've got your electrical connection. Ten. And then we've got pipe, pipey things. And there's two. That's the lights. This is a bit of a tricky thing to get in and out. Oh. It looks like it might be. I think it's all right, I've just got to find all the bits. It's just two pipes, one there, and one there. Okay. So in and out. Just push it like that. So what I'll do, I'll come back to this one quick. Okay, so you put the new uh, fuel filter in. You can hear the engine running. Um, when we put it in, I'll just show you what we do to get the fuel in the filter. We've got the airbox off at the moment, so don't worry about any of that. We're going to do that. So right, so you see here, there, it's a thing a bit like they used to use at the doctors for yeah, blood, blood pressure. Yeah. Um, you just pump that and it puts fuel into the filter. There's a little underneath, like a little screw. Like a bleed valve. Bleed valve. You can open that and push it through to get rid of all the air. Yeah. Uh, do it a few times, done, finished. But how many times do you reckon we had to pump that thing? 10, 12 times. And I pumped it a little bit when you tried to start yeah. it. Some I people feel the fuel, the fuel filter back up with diesel. Yeah, yeah that's, that is. But you obviously need some. Uh, clean, clean diesel. Not diesel. Uh, in there. You know, we didn't have any clean diesel, yeah. so uh, it's a bit of a problem. But um, we have now. So that's how you change a, a diesel fuel filter on a Renault Master. Yeah, I mean, literally, this it is will be the same problem model. But. Let me just show you how I got mine out. The battery's low on this, so we need to be quick. Right. It. Okay. This is a brush. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit of a funny way of doing it. I literally leave it up. My job, it up. I have got the headlight out. But that's what I did. I leave. How, you, how would you get that out without the headlight? I'd pop the headlight out regardless. I don't see how you could get that out of there. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to. You'd struggle. Leave it. Leave, just leave, look. You look at the access you've got with the headlight out. Headlight is a couple of bolts and just lifts out. And it just pulls out of our yeah. couple of wires. Yeah. There and there. Done. Finish. Just get uh, 
a stick or something lever and lever that up and then that'll just push it up as it slides onto it you see what i mean but that was the easiest way of doing it and if you are getting the filter make sure you you take you it out first right to measure one, it up because there's variance thanks for watching